love to go to Danish uh, next. Danish Khan is living in DMV. Uh, he helps creators, mentors, teach and teachers convert tech skills into online business. So Danish, what problem would you solve if you could solve one global problem? And what would you do with your last week on the planet to advance your mission, your purpose, and leave a legacy? Sure. Uh, thank you first for giving me the opportunity and so much great stuff to learn. I was actually taking some notes over here from other people. So thank you so much for sharing that knowledge first. Uh, well, the problem that I uh, wanted to solve, uh, it was 10 years ago. So I consider myself to be the baby of the problem that I wanted to solve. So I was actually in the problem that I wanted to solve. Just a little story. Uh, when I came to US, um, I found it very hard to, uh, you know, get into technical uh, jobs. And that is when we went to college over here and I started my education. It was extremely hard to convert that knowledge that I learned in college and, and then apply for the real job skills. And that's where kind of I found out that there's a huge gap between college education versus a technical job, simple as you wanted to get into IT support or cybersecurity jobs. And when you go and start applying for these jobs, a lot of these descriptions or companies that look for someone who is technical, which didn't really make sense to me uh, from a very early on. So I started creating uh, this videos on YouTube where I would go to work and then I would convert that work learning into a uh, basically in a video format. And people really liked it. So just, just a little history that from 10 years ago, when I started that one video, today uh, I'm running a community of 70,000 members. Um, and after 10 years, a lot of people got into IT because everybody knows these days that skills is kind of like the new degree. So if you have skills, you can go for role-based certifications and even bigger companies like Microsoft and government level, uh, they are realizing that skills is the thing. We have to respect the skills as well if somebody have a degree that's great but if somebody have skills that's even better so i kind of got into that so that was the first problem that i wanted to solve like you know bridge uh, uh, uh filling the gap between college and job skills so um i kind of tackle of course one specific area that is the entry level jobs uh, but it can go beyond that so everywhere we touch this problem we're able to solve it so from YouTube to now, we are at the stage where uh, we are a company now. So we, we build the whole program and we uh, got contracts with colleges now. And we basically give our program kind of like a full program to, to help teachers. And this is where the second uh, you know problem that I wanted to solve is that because I kind of got into it right naturally that, oh my God, this is so much work, 10 years worth of content creation, not just me, the team and everybody. So how can we utilize this content? Because the, the college teachers will never be able to teach and then compete or be involved in live communities where technologies are changing very fast. And that is why I, I found another business model that a lot of these colleges are looking for off the shelf programs like what we are doing. We're basically creating a whole program and I'm telling people that how can I help a mentor now because I was a mentor for 10 years and I'm still I still am in this industry where how can I help you if you want to do things like me would you go for like 10 years of that stress and start creating content from scratch and then then putting it on and all that kind of stuff and updating the content it's a lot of work for a technical person so this is where I got into a second problem where I saw that a lot of mentors are struggling, they're very skillful, but when they see that, hey, they, they need an LMS, they need a content update for all these people that they're following. So I have seen that even, even people with 200 plus subscribers at the end give up because it's too much for them to handle. So this is where I kind of like help now that I converted the whole platform into fully blown uh, LMS system where a mentor will come to us and say, okay, I need this type of technical courses from you and these technical lab systems. So I'm just going to focus on my speciality and you guys can cover the kind of like the skills updates. So I've been very successful in that area. Now, the second uh, uh, question answer is that what would I do to uh, in two weeks if I have two weeks? I mean, two weeks is a very short time, but uh, my goal would be to kind of like uh, create, create a 
blueprint which I already did uh, to whoever is going to lead after me or whoever is with me right now. So they should know every single thing. I do not hold anything back with me. So they should know every single thing. What is the mission of this platform to partner, partner, partner. So if let's say we partner with a lot of people in the world, we can solve the, the technical skills gap in all around the world. And this is not something a very modernish type of thing that we are trying to create. This is a very common thing that a lot of people are having issues. And in, you can take any country. Uh, and when a, when a student go to university level, almost 90% complain about theoretical learning versus technical learning. So a lot of theory is being taught in the university level. But when a student gets out and they start looking for even just an entry level job, almost 90% of the students struggle with getting a job because it's too technical for them. And that is something that I'm working on. Thank you.